Hey there everybody, this is Molly McCord and welcome to our next video talking about the asteroids. In this video, we're gonna talk about Pallas Athene or Pallas Athena. She also goes by Pallas or Athene and she is a warrior goddess associated with creative intelligence, leadership, and many things to do with the feminine energies of strategy, of how to be strong in oneself and how to be strong in herself while owning her masculine energies. So it's a very interesting energy to talk about Pallas Athena. That's what I've called her for years is Pallas Athena. So that's how I'm going to speak of her uh, because she is certainly her own energy field. And as we talk about these asteroids, you will notice overlapping themes, overlapping energies, overlapping archetypes, but each one is their own energy field and they accentuate and bring to life a certain energy within your natal chart. So let's start by looking at the glyph here of Pallas Athene. Now Pallas Athene is actually the feminine who Athens is named after and that's because of her leadership in war times, in battles, in her excellence with strategy. So she is very strong in leadership principles. And you'll notice her glyph here is a diamond and then the cross. Her glyph is very similar to Venus. And let's just look at that for comparison. So here's Venus up here, the circle, right? Well, Pallas Athena is actually associated with masculine energies of the fire and air signs, whereas Venus is associated with more feminine energies. So their glyphs are similar, but Pallas Athena has edges and corners, right? Whereas Venus is all curve. So you can see that there is greater structure in the Pallas Athena energy. And she is focusing on leadership developed through the fire signs and air signs. And she resembles the androgyny and the merging of masculine and feminine energies into the female body, into the female archetype. Pallas Athena is very comfortable being her own person, going her own way, following and knowing what is true for her. She is truly focused on the mind, the intelligence, the development of her cerebral qualities. And I feel like that's also part of this glyph is the focus on the intelligence that she has developed through her years of experience. Uh, the fire signs are also about having experiences and being out in the world, being very physical and motivated and out there on the battlefield, so to speak. So she is about how we combine these energies into one part of our chart. So where Pallas Athena shows up for you is where you have leadership potentials. Now, it does depend, of course, on the sign that she's in as well as the house placement. If she makes any exact aspects to any of your natal planets, especially the personal planets, she activates those personal planets. Um, if she's interacting with Jupiter or Saturn, uh, she's also working with their development, their intelligence. Um, and then, of course, there are the transpersonal planets of Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. And those are more long-term generational energies. So wherever Pallas Athena shows up is where you're here to follow your own creative problem solving, uh, to look for strategies, to develop ways to embody all of yourself in a way that is of the mind's highest good. So a very mental energy. And that is where her creativity resides, where she was able to be a key strategist and to see things differently or to act in a different manner. She, she has this warrior strength in her that gives her power to be her own person. And because she's so creative, she 
is able to see things differently, to understand a new perspective, a new potential, a new possibility. A lot of creativity with the Pallas Athena energies uh, because of the mind's desire to create and, and how she does so and then brings something out and shares it with others and offers it in a way that benefits other people. Again, she was a leader and so she's the kind of leader that rules with the good of all in mind and she rules through her mind um, and through her fire energy, but she offers it out in a way that is meant to be supportive of what the whole needs, of what others can benefit from. Now, one thing about this energy is that she was known as being a virgin goddess, meaning she actually is not about sexuality as some of the other asteroids are, such as Eris and Lilith, which have strong sexual energies and desires. Pallas Athena is in her head, problem solving, looking at maps, looking at solutions, going through equations. You know, she's very much about her mind. So that's an important distinction between her and other asteroids out there is that she was known as being the virgin goddess, and that is key in how she would direct her energy, um, and also perhaps how she would suppress some of her energies as well. Pallas Athena works with your creative expression, and where you're here to believe in yourself, to trust your ideas, to trust how you're different, uh, to go your own way. And she provides the strength of that. Now, I also see this glyph. I, I see this diamond. You could think of it as a diamond in the rough. But I'm just intuitively seeing it as the centerpiece of, a, of armor, um, uh, like a chest plate of ruling with the good of all in mind and understanding what true rulership is, the responsibilities of it, the commitment to it, um, being a part of a bigger picture. So this is a very noble energy. And remember, Pallas Athena, um, Athens is named after her. There's a, there's a royalty energy with her. Uh, there's a sense of command with her. So check out your natal chart to see where this energy shows up for you, where you have the gifts of Pallas Athena, especially depending on the astrological sign and the house that she's in, and spend some time with her. I feel like when we activate these asteroids, they start talking to us. They start talking to us and giving us messages about ourselves that we just weren't in touch with. So I hope that she brings forth some solutions for you, some understanding of your own creative intelligence, ways to work with your feminine power and strength, whether you are a masculine or feminine, ways of trusting your leadership. Um, and she was also known for healing and ancient healing techniques uh, because of her desire to look for solutions and to problem solve. So she's also associated with the healing energies um, and the, the creativity energies of healing. So lots of good stuff here. Uh, she's always been one of my favorites, and I hope that you discover even more about this part of yourself based on Pallas Athena in your chart. And I'll see you back here soon where we will talk about another asteroid. And thanks for following me as we go through this journey together. Talk to you soon.